Welcome to Rochambeau, the podcast about unique competitions and the extraordinary competitors that make them happen. I'm Ted. And I'm Kim. And thanks so much for joining us. Hope you got to hear the last episode. It was all about the sport that Ted participates in. Mountain boarding. Yes. If you missed it, go back and give it a listen. And I would recommend using CastBox. Rochambeau is supported by CastBox. It's a great app with a very intuitive search. And we encourage you to give it a try. Yeah, we both use it and love it. So check it out. (laughs) All right. Onward. Today's episode. The World Championship of Santa Clauses. Well, we were reindeers once. Christmas trees, white snow, Santa Clauses, the hells and stuff. Climbing a chimney, deliver gifts, Christmas cookies, reindeer rodeo, we are at rodeo a reindeer, presents that are everywhere um, on the ground. 120 Santa Clauses. Oh, wait, there's a present. You can't dress up as a, a clown or something, you know. <laughs> it, it, has, it, it has to be something with, with, with winter and uh, actually Santa Claus. What? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so the World Championship of Santa Clauses, it's also called the Klawu. Klawu. Mm-hmm. Takes place in Switzerland in a ski resort town called Sam Noon. I hope I'm pronouncing that well enough. You're probably not. Uh, not my strong suit. <laughs> and everybody dresses up like Santa Claus. Uh-huh. And then they participate in different Santa-themed <laughs> competitions okay so they dress as santa so they all identical santas or they have different fancy dress versions of santa it's pretty much your classic santa red Uh outfit white beard right chris kringle okay isn't yeah. Is Chris Kringle Santa? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. All right. At least in our culture it is. Right? I've been Santa on many occasions. You've dressed up like Santa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's my go-to. One of my go-tos for Halloween to go with Santa Claus. <laughs> People like, I don't know, they get confused. And they say, and the children are like, why is he here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I also, when I worked at a bookstore in college, I, I was dressed as Santa. And people year sit round? on my lap. No, not year round. Just, just during the holidays. <laughs> no. I didn't want to do it because I didn't have a Santa Claus in my contract. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I still have more questions, but I'm sure you're going to answer them. Yes. We'll start out. We will talk to Bernard Eschbach. He's the head of the tourism board in Sam Nohn, and he fills us in on the background behind the competition. I'm Bernard Eschbacher, and I'm the head of the tourist board here in Sam Nohn. So um, I have quite a lot to do about the Klawau then. You know, the Klawau was season opening, and we want to show the world that we have a lot of snow here at the season opening. We start the season quite early, so it's one of the earliest ski openings in the Alps, actually. Santa Claus is in the red dresses and white snow. We we think that's a a really good combination to tell the world that we have a lot of snow and that you can ski. (laughs) Tell me a little more about what you guys were thinking when you came up with the idea. So, you know, <laughs> it wasn't me um, bringing up the idea of Klawau. It's 18 years ago. And so it was um, the presenter of the Klawau is called Lupo. It was actually his idea. And he invented this event for some now 18 years ago. So um, the Klawau, as I said, that's at the beginning of our winter season. And we invite up to 32 uh, teams. Uh, one team consists of four Santa Clauses. And... These teams, they have to do uh, different contests, it's different, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> the word is missing. <laughs> I, I think contest is good, it's like um, different challenges. Yes, exactly. So the teams of four Santa Claus, they have to do uh, different challenges, such as um, climbing a chimney <laughs> or, uh, you know, they have electromobiles and so they have to deliver gifts with the electromobiles and Every contest is in the snow, and it's always about snow, actually, every contest. (laughs) Then, in the end, we have the best team, and the best team wins the the championship. So it's a world championship, actually. Best team uh, is called the world champion in uh, Klawau. That is so cool. (laughs) Are the teams made up of both men and women? Exactly. So we have both mixed teams, only women teams. We we have some uh, teams of four women and also men. And actually, you know, um, in some disciplines, women get some extra points. Uh, you know, in, in the hard disciplines, we give them some extra seconds or extra points so that they have a fair chance to become world champion in Klawau. 
Does everyone have to dress up like Santa or can they be an elf or a reindeer? They can dress up um, like they want, but it has to be um, in the theme of Christmas and Santa Claus. So you can't dress up as a, a clown or something. <laughs> it, it has to be something with, with, with winter and uh, actually Santa Claus. You know, we, we have really nice teams and dressing up, that's also a big big um, issue for our teams and they have also a contest so which team is the nicest has the nicest dress so that's all always a nice nice thing actually oh how fun and what are the prizes associated with this so you can win uh, cash actually so the, the the winner team is getting 2,000 Swiss francs Whoa. second place uh, I guess it's two, a thousand Swiss francs at the third place, uh, 500, I guess. Huh? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have the team of the hearts. So that's the nicest team, maybe not the fastest or the best team, but the nicest team uh, is the winner of the team of the hearts. And oh. they get a, a large heart, actually. Oh, my gosh. I love that you have an award for the nicest team. I love it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, what a great idea. <laughs> so the winner uh, is getting the uh, Santa Claus trophy, the Clawal trophy, which is actually an art of a local artist. So oh, it's uh, cool. a very nice statue in bronze. That's wonderful. Have you ever participated in the event? You know, um, I'm here for six years now, and uh, since I'm always supporting the event, I do not have the time to participate. Sure. <laughs> but, you know, I, I have a, a beard myself, and last year I, I painted it in white, so it looked quite nice. I can send you a picture nice. of me. <laughs> please do. So he did send that picture, and uh -huh. you guys can check it out on RochambeauPodcast.com. And he is a very handsome, white-bearded gentleman. <laughs> that's great. I love that the nicest team gets The team heart. of the hearts. Right. That's, that's great. so your, sweet. Your heart can grow a couple times that day. And I wonder if there's like a picture like a really well-dressed Santa. You know, like with a nice red suit, with a nice red tie, and a really nice red hat. With a, a red tie? Yeah. Santa wears a red tie? A really nicely dressed Santa might. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, that's Santa's work outfit normally, but what does he wear to town? What does he wear out to dinner with, okay. with, Miss, with the Mrs. Claus? Well, you are setting us up perfectly for our next guest <laughs> really? because nice. we have some very, very well-dressed people All right. coming up, specifically Oliver. So actually, the next two people that we're talking to, I got the pleasure of talking to them together. I had right. called to speak to Jessica, mm -hmm. and when I called, she said, hey, my friend Oliver's here. He also participates in the competition. You want to talk to both of us. And it was really, really joyful. Awesome. My name is Jessica, and uh, I grew up in some noun where the Klawa takes place every year. And so I um, always was there when, when the, the event was happening. And uh, around 10 years ago, I took part the first time, and since then, every year. Jessica's boyfriend is actually one of my best friends, and so he forced me like five years ago to participate. And well, since then, yeah, I'm every year aboard. Uh, Samnam is a little village. It's in the, the east of Switzerland, in, in the mountains. It's just uh, like 700 inhabitants, and so it's very small, but we have a wonderful skiing area. And every year at the start of the skiing season, it's the Klawa, the Santa Claus World Championship. I watched some of the videos online, and it looks like an intense competition. Yes, it is. Uh, the first time I was 16 years old, I guess, and um, I was taking part with um, three friends of mine, three girlfriends of mine, and um, it was more creative back then, so not as sporty as, as it is now. And we had a lot of fun and we met a lot of friends and it was great. It was a lot of fun. Tell me about your team. Uh, my team is me, normally me and three other girls. And um, it's not always the same girls. So A lot of fluctuation in the team. Actually. Yeah, it's always changing because you always have to be four team members. And it's hard to convince them every year again because it's actually a lot of work and it's a hard weekend also. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, but also hard work totally understand and one of my favorite parts from watching it is obviously the costumes are beautiful yeah. do you tend to always dress up as santas or have you ever done like reindeer or other wintry <laughs> things well we were reindeers once 
Actually, it's a rule to be a Santa Claus, but we were there as reindeers once, and the people didn't like it that much. <laughs> but uh, no, they didn't. <laughs> but Ollie, also, they have another custom. Yeah, we usually um, just are wearing suits that are um, like uh, Christmas patterns. Yeah, different with Christmas, Christmas patterns, patterns. Like, uh, Christmas trees, like the paper wraps from the presents and stuff. And yeah, did um, people give you a hard time the first time you did that? No, I would say no. They're quite all, they're all friendly. The, well, it's actually still the spirit from Christmas, just being friendly and help each other. And yeah party around. Do your teams have names? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, my team is got, called uh, Speculatio. It's a kind of Christmas cookies here in Switzerland. Uh, my team is called Santa's Gentlemen because we're yeah, we're uh, walking around with the suits. Perfectly fit. Can you guys describe the race for me? I know it's broken down into different parts. Sorry, can you repeat the question a bit slow, uh, slower? Of course, Sorry. of course. And by the way, thank you both for speaking English. Um, that's amazing. You both speak wonderful English and I feel very lucky <laughs> right now to be able to have such a good conversation with you both. Um, what I had asked was, I know the race is more than one thing. It's in sections. Well, actually this year I haven't started yet what um, disciplines are going to be, but uh, if I recall, the last few years there's been always like a reindeer rodeo, where you at, yeah, rodeo a reindeer. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, so not, nothing special though. And then a chimney climbing. Ah, yeah, like chimney you climbing. You have to climb on top of a chimney, and and um, all all four uh, team members have to climb up there and ring a bell on top. And what else? Like there are some sports. Oh yeah. Then there was also the the um, Santa's triathlon where you actually. Sit on a snowmobile. Well, one participant sits on a snowmobile, then he races down to the other side of the, of the course. Of the course, yes, where you give a handshake to your teammate, which is going to run uh, back the mountain, and then they have to check again, then they have to um, shoot with some kind of laser tag rifle. There are a lot of different things, especially uh, different um, snow. Um, how do you say? Um, uh, uh, well, how do you say that? Um, like um, like skis or or um, uh, sleds or um, yeah, different kind of how do you call that? Snow gears. Yeah, yeah. I did see one thing that looked like something that I I don't even know what to call it because we don't have something similar here, but it was like a seat attached to a ski. Yes. <laughs> what is that? Uh -huh, the, <clears throat> she fox. Oh, she, she, she fox, yeah. <laughs> a seat attached on a ski <laughs> and you have to sit on it and, and slide down the... Yeah, try not to fall down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks impossible to balance on. No, it, it's very much fun. This no, one it's is very fun, yeah. easy, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, lo it looks much more dangerous than it actually yeah. is. <laughs> Good. No, it's pretty fun. And also... Um, the distance isn't that big, so yeah. That's helpful. Just do safety first. So which part of the course, I know it changes every year, but in the past, which part have you found most difficult? Oof. Well, I don't know if I can say that, but I do really suck at rodeo. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's easier for me to, to learn how to drive a new vehicle like the snowball while they're sitting on the reindeer. <laughs> so... Um, is it real? I don't understand. What are you? What are you rodeoing? What are you lassoing? Is it really reindeer? No, it's like um, <laughs> like the rodeos you have in 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 like the. No, no, no. Um, how do you say that? In, uh, in the, you have that sometimes in the Mexican restaurants or stuff. Like you know the the, the inflatable bulls, yeah. you know, where you spins around but and yeah. then all right, but it's dead. <laughs> so it's not a real radio. <laughs> that would be I'm fun. not quite sure if it's, if it's if it's legal to do that. Oh my gosh, I I was hiding a reindeer. Ooh, I was yeah. getting a little scared there for a second. Okay, it's a, like a like our version would be like a mechanical bull, and this is yeah yeah yeah, yeah, right. yeah okay. And we have a mechanical reindeer. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So Oliver, <laughs> not your favorite. Yeah. Well, it's fun, but I'm just not good at it. It's more fun to look at him <laughs> falling down the reindeer. Exactly. Which part, Jessica, do you find the hardest? Uh, for us women, the hardest was 
um, they built like a big Santa Claus hat and you had to go under that hat and, and carry that hat. I don't know if you can imagine that. And you had to, to make a, a course with it. Like you had to run around with that hat and, and do stuff with it. And it was so heavy to carry for us. So that was really hard. <laughs> How big? What could you compare it to? Like a tent? Yeah, like, like a, a middle, like like a a middle tent. Yeah, um, like a, no, like a teepee tent? tent? No, maybe not as big as that, but no. it was pretty big. Yeah, like... Well, like um, five people fit under that easily. <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so and there's like uh, only one small window, so of these five persons, only one, one sees actually the outside world and he has to say, yeah. hey, now go left, now go right. <laughs> In the meantime, the other teammates have to grab... Um, Presents right. that are everywhere um, on the ground, where they run around in this course, um, like maniacs, actually. And then, <laughs> oh, wait, here's a present. They go there, they have to pick it up and put it in the back and then next, uh, run to the next one. <laughs> that sounds ludicrous. <laughs> Running around picking up presents. It's like a video game. I love the visual on that yeah, yeah. so much. And I love the idea that really they're pretty much flying blind. Yeah, yeah. One guy can see, everyone else is just kind of like... <laughs> Going forward or listening to that guy. Yeah. And good work with the reindeer. Clearing that up, Kim. That was good. <laughs> so good investigative reporting right there. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I don't know why, but for me, like, rodeo immediately implied, like, someone with a lasso. Yeah, like roping something. Yeah. 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 I yeah. had that picture in my head, too. You so did? So don't feel bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. gosh. That makes no, me I feel did. so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were out of line asking those questions at all. <laughs> I felt really, really silly. But I have since looked up a picture, as you can also on our website we'll have some links for you and it is indeed a mechanical reindeer okay. it's just <laughs> awesome the pictures from this event are really striking and beautiful with all the snow in the background yeah picturing 32 teams doing all this madness sounds like a hell of a lot of fun there were years where only like 10 teams competed and uh, in the last years it was always around 30 that's a lot. 120 so, Santa Clauses. The nice thing is also they are sometimes really coming from quite different uh, countries also, like from Sweden or from, from the Netherlands. Or also or, uh, from Japan. Japan, and Russia. And... Great Britain mm -hmm. and Korea. Really different. So it's, it's not just um, yeah, some crazy Swiss people that are going up. Uh, so. <laughs> it's really international. Yeah, it's, it's getting time. international, yeah. Does what Santa looks like tend to vary at all, like between Switzerland and Japan, or is Santa always Santa? Oof. Like, do um, these people show up in costumes that look like yours? Um, the team from Japan, they were actually traveling traveling around Europe, so and then they they heard about the Kavao, and it was very spontaneous for them. They just rented a, a costume, and it was very basic. There were, for example, teams from Poland, I guess, and they had like really um, traditional costumes and really like a lot of um, bells and stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot of decorations also and stuff. I remember correctly one time there was a, a Danish team that came like monks. In the, mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, actually quite simple, but still beautiful. And um, yeah, no, it, it, it diverses a bit, yeah. That's really cool. I love the story of the Japanese team doing it spontaneously. I would love to stumble across an event like this when I was traveling. That's yes, so cool. They were cool. out of money. They needed the money. So <laughs> they Did they do okay? Did they win any money? I don't think so. Yeah. I think they were a team of the heart, but I think they didn't win anything else. Have either of y'all ever won before? Um, yes, um, our team got like Two years ago, second place. Also, the, there's a prize for the best costume. We also won that mm -hmm. two or three times, I think. Yeah. Are there other events that go along with the festival? Is it an all-day affair? Yeah, it's all day. And uh, in the evening, there's always a concert. And yeah, and then people go out. Well, I don't have any other specific questions, but is there anything else either one of you would like to share with me about the competition or just about the Klawu? They pretty nailed it with the questions. <laughs> <laughs> what should I add? All right, I'm going to feel good about that. I'm going to take that as a win. Yeah, no, you can take it, yeah. <laughs> when are you coming? I want to come next year. 
I want to do okay. this. I want to do that this. That would be nice. That would be nice, yes. And you will meet some really good friends. Friends for a lifetime. I met my boyfriend there. I don't know. We were just talking there and having fun. And <laughs> that's how we met. And that was like seven years ago. So, yeah. What an adorable, cute meat story. Yeah, we met at Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Claus. I think it's Cleese. Santa Claus. Yeah. This has everything. This checks all our boxes. It's yeah. At a ski resort, fancy dress is required. Yep. Awards are substantial. Yes. Not that we care that much, but we, we like to pretend we care about that. And the competition itself yeah. is bonkers. Right. Like the things <laughs> oh, these yeah, people that. are actually doing <laughs> right. are kind of insane right. and so, visually stunning. Yeah. How do we prepare for this? Well, our next guest, Michael, mm -hmm. he is a world champion, and he's got a couple of takeaways that he's learned over the years. Awesome. I'm killing it with the segues today. My name is Michael Gamperle, coming from Switzerland, living in Zurich. Um, we won the world championship of being a Nikola, so we are the world champions there. Our team was called uh, Santa Rapido. We were all Santas. We were the original red uh, Santa costume. Perfect. And how long have you been competing in this contest? First time we've been 2016. And how did you do that year? Uh, I guess in somewhere in the middle field. So uh, I would say around seventh, eighth place, something like that. What did you learn that you guys were able to take the championship last year? What we learned. So uh, let me say in the first year, Friday evening wasn't the easiest evening for us. So we went out, had a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> the next day wasn't that easy. So we learned uh, it's better to sleep enough before such a competition. That is good advice. <laughs> yeah. Would you describe the different competitions that you guys had to do? I know there's a chimney climb, but what else did you do? So... Uh, in the first year, we had to do like um, something like a present basketball. So you had a trampoline there where you had to jump and reach a basketball <laughs> and uh, put the present in there. This was real fun. And there is like a snowmobile where you have to uh, where you have to drive with or with you have to drive with. And another one of your team has to be on the back on skis and drive behind you. What else? Ah, yeah. We had to, let me say, design uh, a Christmas tree. We had to bring our own stuff and uh, create the most beautiful Christmas tree. And uh, there was a, a jury. They put notes on them or give us notes how good it is. This was fun as well. The trampoline with the presents sounds amazing. Yeah, it was real fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys divide up who competes in which part or does everybody compete in all parts everybody competes in all parts there is a not everybody has to ride the snow mobile sure. but uh this is just one of the team but the rest everybody has to do what was your favorite part i would say the snow mobile were you the driver of the snowmobile or were you on the skis i was on the skis fantastic if you were to give advice to someone who was going to compete for the first time aside from getting enough sleep the night before <laughs> what would you tell them so um, i would say warm clothes it's really important because it's it's cold in the mountains there this was a this was a something we did wrong in the first year as well we uh, just wore just santa claus custom without anything else uh, like uh, winter clothes oh and then we had cold the whole day. This wasn't that nice, and it was snowing. So yeah, maybe this Ooh. was uh, not the same in the in the second year. Also, keep calm on Friday evening. It's the first evening, <laughs> and have fun. Most important thing there is have fun. It's always great. It's so well organized. The guys there, which are organizing everything, they're so good. If you have any question, you can ask them. They will give you advice what you have to do, where you have to go in the evening, where you can eat good food in some town. And so it's the, the organization there is really, really good. So there you go. Some good <laughs> that, advice from Michael. Yeah. Stay warm. Get rested. Don't get wasted the night before. Right. And as we learned earlier, kind of be nice. Yeah. Because they're watching. Spirit they are watching. Of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. All wrapped up in one 
fantastic event. That's it's great. Pretty, pretty wonderful. So it happens every year around the end of November. Right. So they just had it. We wanted to hold off a minute and get this out to you a little closer to Christmas so that our Rochambeau family could have a little holiday cheer. Uh huh. This would be great to sit around the fire and have some eggnog with the family and listen to us. Who wouldn't want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to take a minute and thank Michael and Jessica and Bernard and Oliver. Really, really enjoyed talking to all of you, and I appreciate you guys making time for us. Yeah, I really want to go to this one because, it, like I said, it checks all the boxes. All right, Let's go. put it we, on the we, calendar. I already have a Santa Claus costume. You can be a tree. <laughs> And we just need to find some presents. Is that a tall girl joke? <laughs> kind of. Are you offended? I hope not. <laughs> You're a beautiful tree. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Shoo. Whew. Dodged a bullet there, Ted Ledoux. <laughs> still got it. <laughs> Speaking of still got it, Cadillac Jones. Always. Yep. Thanks for letting us use your music, guys. You're great. Next time on Rochambeau. We're going to give you brand new bonus episodes. Nice. What a present for everybody. It will be. Yeah. And specifically, they will, as this episode was, uh, be Christmas themed. So please stick around for that. We really hope you guys enjoy it. And we hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. And then when we get back after the new year, what's coming up next on Rochambeau? So yeah, when we come back from the break, fashion has gone to the dogs. Till next time, people. Goodbye. Jumping onto a trampoline with a present to dunk into a basketball hoop. Uh huh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Especially if the present is a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>